Wow. Okay. Uh, why is there cracks on my surface? Oh, I remember. I might have a book about it. Here it is. Ugh, Mercury, what are you doing? I'm trying to see why I have cracks on my surface. Oh, it's because you're shrinking. I'm what? Yeah, it's because they're of course cooling down. No, 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 that, that can't be the case. I mean, I, I'm small, but I don't know if I'm shrinking. Where did you get this anonymous source? Uh, Google? Are you sure you trust this, Google? Uh, sure. Wait, if I'm shrinking, does that mean I'll be a dwarf planet? Mmm, probably not. Your orbit is definitely clear. I'll have to make sure. I'll have to clear my entire orbit. <laughs> Kids these days. Uh, Mars, what happened? Mercury figured out he was shrinking. Oh. Hey, Mercury. Venus, why are you so nosy? <sighs> I'm not that nosy. Hey, Mercury, wanna hear a joke? Uh... One day on me lasts 5,832 hours, just as long as a Monday on Earth. Okay, that was pretty good. Hey, Mercury, is there a chance I could, um, you know, have life? No. What? You're the hottest planet in the solar system. Of course you can't support life. Oh, please, elaborate. Any living being that goes on your surface would melt and die in seconds. Your surface is 864 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt lead. Yeah, but you're talking about my surface. Is there anywhere else that can sustain life? Wait, I think I have an idea. But first, we're gonna need to find Earth and a human. What for? A plan. Ow. Uh, Earth, are you okay? <coughs> Yeah, just a little sick. From the humans? Yeah. They ruined me and then made a new home somewhere else. Acting like I didn't even exist. Caring about their stupid TikToks and throwing recycle and trash. I'm sorry, man, but why? It's a long story. Man, I feel bad for the Earth. Yeah, first he loses his best friend, then gets humans, then the humans kill him, then they- Mercury, I get it. The Earth has been through a lot. Let's just hope Mars is not next. Oh, he is. I already told him a while ago, but he didn't like that so much. So you're telling me that the reason why you're dying is because humans burn fossil fuels every day like coal, gas, and oils every minute so humans can have plastic. Yep, and they throw away the plastic which kills nature. I'm sorry, dude. It's okay. But just wait till Mars gets life. Venus and Earth don't know what they're talking about. I will never have a life. Mars, what are you doing? Oh, hey Phobos. What do you want? I'm in the middle of something. Listen, I know you feel angry, but don't let it control you. Like you know anything. You're just a moon. I knew you were gonna say that. But I do have a list of objects that are habitable that humans can go to instead. Okay, let's see them. Okay. The first one is Venus. Wait, Venus isn't habitable. Isn't it like the hottest planet? Well, yes, but the clouds of Venus are very nice. But it would be hard to live there, so let's just cross that one out. The next one is Europa, the smallest major moon of Jupiter. It has two times the water than Earth does, but it doesn't have any oxygen or atmosphere, so let's cross that one out too. Next is Enceladus. It has water geysers and other stuff for life, but like Europa, it doesn't have any oxygen or an atmosphere. It's also really, really small. What's the last one? I saved the best for last. Meet Titan, the largest moon of Saturn. It has lakes and an atmosphere. Okay, let's go tell the Earth to move there. But it's too cold for liquid water to be there. So I guess I'm the only one. 
I'm sorry, dude. I have an idea. Oh, how am I gonna tell my moons? If I tell them, then they'll get mad at me. But if I don't, I'll be lying to them. Yo, can you be quiet, Saturn? I'm trying to chill. I'm sorry, I just don't know how I'm gonna tell my moons that I- Destroyed them? Yeah, I was thinking about doing that too. What? No, I don't want to destroy them. Whatever. Um, Jupiter? Maybe you shouldn't be too rude to Saturn. I mean, she did destroy her moons without her knowing. You wouldn't understand, Pipsqueak. Just be quiet and let the adults talk. Oh, I'm sorry, Jupiter. I just want to let you know that telling the planet to shut up while going through an existential crisis may not be the best idea. Hey, I'm just sharing the harsh truth. Um... Do you even know my name? Um... Ironhide? Wow, you forgot all of your moon's names. So what? You all are just small. Just be quiet, you big bully. Say that again. You big bully with a big ego. Go back to your orbit! Uh, okay, Saturn. You have to tell your moons. You have to tell them that you destroyed them by accident. Ugh, they're gonna hate me. What do I do? Saturn? Oh, Titan. Uh, how are you? Are you okay? Uh, I gotta go walk my fish. Did she tell you? Nope. Too bad we already know what she did. That was a horrible day. Don't worry, I don't think she'll do it again. Are we gonna tell the moons? No, I'll let her do it. Saturn's not gonna take care of us for a while, so we'll take care of ourselves. Wonder what Saturn's been up to. Wait, where's my moons? I haven't been spending time with them that much. Hey, Puck, have you seen the other moons? Who's Puck? Your Puck. Anyway, can you go find the other moons and bring them back safely? <laughs> yeah, I'm Puck. Just go. Hey, Neptune. How are you? I'm okay. Okay. You know, it must be really fun being the coldest planet in the solar system. I'm not the coldest planet in the solar system. Wait, then who is? You. Oh, right, 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 right. It's because I have little to no eternal heat in. I knew that. Right. Wait, if you're not the coldest planet, then what record do you hold? Well, for one, I take over a hundred years to orbit the sun. And two, I'm the windiest planet in the solar system. Nice. Anyway, I'm gonna hand up this Christmas tree. See you later!